The creation of large highways, roads, and train networks is not possible without the help of bridges. By connecting land masses over giant canyons, rivers, oceans, lakes, and fjords, they facilitate the movement of people and material from place to place and drive the economy forward. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 largest mega bridges in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. The Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct as far as length goes, the bridge that holds the record for being the world's second longest is the Changhua Kaohsiung Viaduct. It's located in Taiwan. The bridge carries both a highway and a train line that connects the cities of Zuying and Bagashan over a length of 157 kilometers. Unlike many other trains on this list, the decision was made to place the viaduct along an active seismic zone, and while this may have seemed rather foolish, it has several features that fortify it against earthquakes. For example, it's designed to allow trains to stop safely during seismic events, while also having a disconnected design that prevents damage from spreading across the structure, therefore allowing the viaduct to be easily and quickly repaired after an earthquake. As such, despite its location, this viaduct is able to facilitate the passage of tens of millions of vehicles every single year. Number 14. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge when it comes to length, the bridge that takes the cake for being the world's longest is the Danyang Kunshan Bridge. Built as part of a super project known as the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway, it connects the eastern Chinese cities of Ningbo and Jiaxing. Cutting down travel time between this 165 kilometer stretch from four and a half hours via public transport to just two hours. When combined with the fact that the entire thing is 100 meters above ground, it becomes easy to see that this mega project was quite the undertaking as it not only took 10,000 workers four years to build and cost an astonishing $8.5 billion, or about $51 million per kilometer. This price tag may seem extreme, but the good news is that it seems to have been justified. After all, on a per-year basis, it shuttles over 180 million passengers, making this infrastructure project a vital transportation link in the region. Number 13. The Hong Kong Zuhai Bridge while the Hong Kong Zuhai Bridge may not be the world's longest bridge, it holds the distinction for being the world's longest sea crossing. First opened in 2018, the structure is essentially a 55-kilometer-long behemoth that consists of three cable-stayed bridges, an undersea tunnel, and four artificial islands, all of which connect Hong Kong to mainland China. Coming in at a price of $20 billion, the bridge was rather expensive to build, while the fact that 18 people died and hundreds were injured while building it gave it the moniker, the Bridge of Death. To make matters worse, despite it being able to handle lots of traffic, the bridge is exceptionally difficult to use, as it requires a special permit to drive across it and facilitates absolutely zero public transportation. When you further consider that this bridge even has built-in yawn cameras that report drivers to the authorities if they show signs of being sleepy, it becomes clear that this bridge isn't as great as it seems. Number 12. The 6 October Bridge While the name 6 October Bridge may sound like a nod to Oktoberfest or the 6, it in fact has nothing to do with Drake or Toronto at all. Instead, it made its way onto this list for being the largest bridge on the African continent. Coming in at 20 and a half kilometers long, it crosses the Nile twice from the West Bank suburbs connecting various parts of the Egyptian capital of Cairo to one another. Named in commemoration of the so-called Crossing, which is an event that happened during 1973 Yom Kippur War against Israel, it's often considered to be the spinal cord of Cairo, as approximately a half a million citizens of the city use the bridge on a daily basis. As a result, during times of civil unrest, it's often one of the first pieces of infrastructure targeted by protesters. However, so long as everything is stable, it's a great route to use to get from point A to point B while traveling through the city. Number 11. Lake Pontchartrain Causeway If you happen to be close to New Orleans, Louisiana, there's a fair chance that you have used the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Made to help cars cross Lake Pontchartrain, it's considered to be the longest bridge in the United States and the longest in the world that runs continuously over water, as there's no stops or artificial islands in the way. Consisting of two parallel bridges, the longer of the two is an impressive 38.4 kilometers in length. Although there weren't always two routes across this water body, you see, the first of the two bridges was completed in 1956, but when traffic on it exceeded its capacity, a second was added, with this one being completed in 1969. 
If that wasn't interesting enough, the bridge is also very strong, as it survived several hurricanes over the years, and even with the monstrosity that was Hurricane Katrina only managing to damage the structure minimally. So, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway is an admirable piece of infrastructure. Number 10. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge while Turkey's 1915 Çanakkale Bridge has currently taken the top spot as the world's longest suspension bridge, for decades that title belonged to the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. Completed in 1998 after decades of calls for a safer alternative to ferries, this 1,900-meter-long structure is part of the Kobe Awaji Naruto Expressway and connects the islands of Honshu and Shikoku. While it costs a total of $3.6 billion to build, these high costs are rather justified, as the bridge is located in an area that's notorious for seismic activity and storms. The bridge was designed with a series of counterweights, pendulums, and steel truss girders to help stabilize the structure in the event of a quake and allow it to endure winds of up to 290 kilometers per hour. If that wasn't enough, the bridge even has aesthetic value, as it resembles a string of pearls when it's lit and displays a variety of colors depending on the season. So few structures are quite as impressive as the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. Number 9. The Manchik Swamp Bridge America's interstate highway system is a massive network that consists of over 78,000 kilometers of road. Yet the structure that holds the title for being the longest bridge to be part of it is the Manchik Swamp Bridge. Coming in at just under 36.7 kilometers in length, it's widely considered to be the longest non-toll bridge in the world. Yet despite this, it was certainly not cheap to make. Located in the middle of a Louisiana swamp, piles had to be driven 76 meters deep in order to keep it in place, and the result was a bridge that cost an astonishing $4.3 billion when it was constructed in 1979, which in modern terms is closer to $17.5 million per kilometer. Beyond that insane cost, the bridge also stands apart for having alligators nesting under its twin concrete trestles, while some also allege that it's haunted by a Cajun werewolf known as Rougarou and a voodoo princess. However, no matter what you believe, what's clear is that the Manchek Swamp Bridge is a pretty cool structure. Number 8. The George Washington Bridge while cities in China and Southeast Asia have continued to dwarf their North American counterparts, one thing that they don't have quite yet is the world's busiest bridge. That's because that title officially belongs to the George Washington Bridge, which for all intents and purposes is absolutely crammed on a daily basis. On average, almost 290,000 cars, buses, and trucks travel across the George Washington Bridge daily, which makes sense due to the fact that it connects New Jersey to Manhattan across the Hudson River. First built in 1931 by Swiss-born engineer Othmar H. Anman, its main span of 1,067 meters doubled the record for suspension bridges, and soon many flocked to the eight-lane bridge to access the city of New York more easily than they could have in the past. However, by 1955, it was becoming clear that the bridge's capacity was simply too low to meet demand, and this convinced the local government to add a lower deck with six more traffic lanes along with an additional bus terminal and highway connections. This addition also lengthened the bridge out to 1,450 meters, and to this day it stands as a symbol of U.S. industrial achievement. Number 7. The Rio Niteroi Bridge Brazil had its golden age during the 1970s, and it was during this time of economic strength and growth that they constructed the massive Rio Niteroi Bridge. At a length of 13.3 kilometers, and with its largest span being 300 meters, the bridge is considered to be the largest bridge in South America that's open to vehicle traffic. But since by most accounts it's often too congested with traffic to be an efficient route, I wouldn't suggest going for a drive on it during rush hour. However, beyond the traffic, one other major problem that many people have with the bridge is its name. You see, while most people refer to it as the Rio Niteroi Bridge, it's officially known as the President Costa e Silva Bridge in a nod to the military dictator who built it. As a result of this rather outdated name, there have been calls to change it to the Herbert de Souza Bridge in a nod to a prominent activist and sociologist by the same name. However, despite it being proposed as a bill back in 2012, complaints by the military against it ultimately quashed the initiative. Number 6. The Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmad Al Sabah Causeway in recent years, an influx of oil money has turned the Middle East into a mecca of economic activity, and this has necessitated the creation of infrastructure such as the Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmad Al Sabah Causeway. 
Built in the country of Kuwait for a price of about $3.6 billion back in 2019 as part of China's infamous global development plan known as the Belt and Road Initiative, it comprises two main projects. The first, known as the Main Link, connects Kuwait City with Northern Kuwait, while the second, known as the Doha Link, connects Kuwait City with Doha. In the process, it crosses two artificial islands that were constructed for entertainment and tourism purposes, and the end result is a network of roads and bridges that's 48 kilometers long, six lanes wide, and as much as 150 meters above ground. Further features such as 600 cameras to track emergency issues and traffic movement make the bridge very high-tech due to its utility. And due to its utility, many hope that it will help make Kuwait a more attractive place for businesses and investors to set up shop. However, only time will tell whether or not this bridge will have such an effect. Number 5. The Bangna Expressway Thailand, it's a country that's been on the rise in recent years, and a testament to its economic activity is the Bangna Expressway. Created to relieve some of Bangkok's notorious traffic, this 55-kilometer-long highway traverses both tracks of land and the Bang Pakon River and required a total of 1.8 million cubic meters of concrete and more than a billion dollars in funding in order to build. Unlike most other bridges which are built using one large blueprint, the Bangna Expressway was instead created using what is known as a designed-build contract. In effect, this caused the structure's construction to be divided into eight parts, with each part being considered to be a separate project. As a result, the different sections of the bridge could be built, while others were still in the design phases, leading to the bridge being built and designed simultaneously. Beyond its interesting contract layout, the Bangna Expressway also stands apart due to the fact that it features both a four-lane highway below and a six-lane highway on top of it. And for a period of about eight years between 2000 and 2008, it was considered to be the world's longest bridge. Yet while Bangna has now been demoted to being the world's seventh largest bridge, it's still an impressive structure, and I'd highly suggest going for a drive on it if you ever take a trip to Thailand. Number 4. The 1915 Chanak Kale Bridge while there are many suspension bridges out there, the one that takes the cake for being the longest is Turkey's 1915 Çanak Kale Bridge. Opened on March 18th of 2022, this brand new bridge comes in at an impressive 2,023 meters in length, which allows it to connect the two sides of the Dardanelles Strait. Considered to be both a practical piece of infrastructure and a pride project by the Turkish government, the bridge is filled with symbolism, as it was not only named in a nod to the Ottoman naval victory over the French and British in the area during World War I, but is also 2,023 meters long in order to accommodate the 100th year anniversary of the Turkish Republic in 2023. Costing a total of $2.7 billion to build and a ridiculously high $15 to cross it, nothing about this bridge is cheap, but this makes sense given the fact that it was extremely hard to build. After all, the area is prone to high winds and high seismic activity, and so in order to counter this, the bridge has had to make use of a twin box girder and other important features in order to stay standing. As an interesting side note, the bridge's deck height of 73 meters means that high-stacked container ships and cruise ships can pass under it, while its overall height of 318 meters makes it a sight to behold. As such, the 1915 Chanakale Bridge is truly an example of excellent engineering. Number 3. The Golden Gate Bridge Of all the bridges on this list, few are quite as recognizable as the Golden Gate Bridge. Spanning across the San Francisco Peninsula, at the time of its construction in 1937, it held the distinction of being the longest and tallest suspension bridge in the world. And while this is no longer the case, its stunning beauty means that it continues to hold the record for being the world's most photographed bridge. Measuring in at 1,280 meters in length and 227 meters in height, its iconic status as the symbol of San Francisco has meant that it's on everything from touristy travel mugs to the logo of the hometown Golden State Warriors. Although what many don't realize is that the bridge was very close to having a far different appearance than it has today. Believe it or not, the original intention was to paint it in blue and yellow stripes, as the U.S. Navy believed that it would help to increase its visibility. However, when the steel arrived in San Francisco, it was already painted a burnt red hue as a primer, and rather than change it, the consulting architect decided that the color was not only just as visible, but also much more visually appealing. Thus, the bridges maintain this iconic reddish color to this day, although the types of paint found on it certainly have not. You see, when it was first built, the red primer was 66% lead, and while this protected the steel structure from corrosion, it certainly didn't do wonders for those living around it. 
So, due to its status as a toxic chemical, the lead paint began to be removed in 1965, with the removal process not subsiding until 1995. However, once completed, the entirety of the bridge was coated with a zinc paste primer paint instead, and the end result has been a bridge that's far less harmful to the environment. Number 2. The Bjornaford Bridge Norway, it's a country that's covered with super large fjords, which, for those of you who don't know, are essentially super long and deep canyons created by glaciers. And while these fjords are certainly quite cool, they make it nearly impossible to drive across the country. After all, Norway's current national highway, which is known as the E39, is an 1,100-kilometer long route that features a grand total of seven ferry crossings and takes about 21 hours to cross in its entirety. And so in order to cut down on this commute, the Norwegian government is looking to spend around $47 billion in order to update it. One of the ways that it wishes to do so is by finding ways to cut across the fjords that currently require ferry crossings. And the Bjornaford Bridge is an example of a clever workaround in action. You see, due to their height, it's proven difficult to build bridges that reach the bottom of fjords, so instead the Bjornafjord Bridge will soon be the world's longest floating bridge. This will work by supporting the bridge with the help of 38 floating pontoons, four of which will be tethered to the seafloor with cables. This will prevent the bridge from wobbling, while additional cables attached to each side of the fjord will further increase stability. The end result will likely be a bridge that's about 5 kilometers long, and in the name of sustainability, the plan is for the bridge to last 100 years and for each part to be replaceable so the bridge can be completely refitted when necessary. And while I do concede that this plan does sound a little crazy, it turns out that this type of technology has already been used to help support oil platforms in the past, and so architects are confident that the design could work in waters that are as much as 1,500 meters deep. However, Norway is still in the process of finding a builder, and only time will tell whether or not they'll be successful in doing so. Number 1. The Brooklyn Bridge When it comes to bridges, the OG of the mega bridge game was the Brooklyn Bridge, a shining symbol of the city of New York. This 183-year-old masterpiece is one of the United States' most iconic bridges, and it's not hard to see why. Built between 1869 and 1883 across New York's East River in order to connect Lower Manhattan and Brooklyn, construction of it only began after crime lord William Boss Tweed funneled $65,000 in bribes to city politicians in order to get the project moving. And even then, the building of the bridge still took 14 years. To make matters worse, lead architect John Augustus Roebling paid a heavy price during the construction process as he crushed his foot on site contracted tetanus in the wound and ended up dying as a result, making the bridge a bit of a cursed project of sorts. Yet his son and son's wife ended up taking over the project and thus were able to see it through to its completion. The bridge made headlines thanks to it being the world's first steel line suspension bridge. Yet due to its new design, many worried that it would collapse if too much weight was put on it. So to prove its strength to New York City citizens, the government commissioned P.T. Barnum to walk elephants across it. Yep, in May of 1884, about one year after opening, P.T. Barnum showed up to the bridge and marched 21 elephants along it to prove that it could withstand whatever was thrown at it. Thankfully, this display seemed to work, as ever since the bridge has grown to have so much traffic that it now has about 100,000 cars drive across it every single day. Yet beyond it being a transportation link, the bridge is also significant for some of its stranger uses. More specifically, it was once the site of a 15-meter-tall vault of wine, an air raid shelter during the Cold War, making it a rather interesting structure. And while the bridge may not officially serve these purposes anymore, it still goes without saying that the Brooklyn Bridge is one of New York's most important landmarks. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular Top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.